Hey guys, today we're gonna be making a custom image preview using React. So we're gonna have a preview box here with some text that says add an image, choose file, and then the image type we can add. And then if we click choose file, we can add a picture here. So for example, this one. And that's gonna show us preview instead of the box we had. And we're also gonna have a button once we add a picture where we can actually remove it. Usually we would have upload here if you're uploading it anywhere, but in our case, we're just gonna remove it here. And once we click remove, it's going to go back to this box that we had at the beginning. And we're also going to be showing an error message if we select a file that's not one of these three. So if I click choose file, let's say we pick a text file. We're going to get the message here saying file not supported. And then if we pick a picture again, let's say this one, that error message is going to go away. And we're back with this preview here. So now let's go back to code sandbox here. And the first thing I want to do is import use state from React. Because we're going to have a single state for the preview and we're going to have another state to show the error message. Then after that, we're going to create an input here. And our input is going to be type file. And we're going to have on change event. And we can call handle image change. So this is a function we're going to make here. So const handle image change. And inside that function, the first thing we want to do is pass an event here. And we're going to make a variable. It's going to be selected. And that's going to be equal to event.target.files. And we want to select the first file, so zero. So that's going to be the picture we upload here. Then we're going to have another variable that's going to be allowed underscore types. And this is going to be an array. And here we can specify which types we want to allow for the pictures. So we can do image slash PNG as the first one. And do image slash JPEG. And we can do image slash and we can also add more things like other extensions here. I know there's one with like WebP, we can do that. So all the extensions we want to allow for user to upload are going to go here. Then under that, we're going to check if selected. So this file right here that we made and our variable, which is allowed types dot includes selected dot type. Let's just console log selected. So if it includes that, and then we can have an else. And here we can console log file not supported. So if we open our console log here, and we take this one, which is PNG, we're going to get this selected because it does include image slash PNG. But then, for example, if we pick this text file, we're going to get the message file not supported. So inside this else is where we're going to output the error message if we don't have the file. So instead of adding a console log here, we're going to remove that. And we're going to make a variable called reader. And that's going to be equal to new file reader. And under that, we're going to have reader dot onload end. We're going to make that an arrow function and inside of that we would update our state we have so we didn't make a state but we're going to have a state for that preview right here and state for the errors so we're going to create those two states right now so first one is going to be image preview and set image preview and initially we're going to set this to null and then our other state is going to be for errors. So errors and set error. And initially we can set this to false because we don't have an error yet. So now inside this function, reader on load end, we want to update our image preview. So we're going to set our image preview and we're going to set it to selected. So selected is that image we upload, which is e.target.file0. So whatever we, when we click choose file, whatever we select, that's our e.target.file0. Then we're updating our image preview state here. 
and then under this function we're gonna do reader dot read as data URL and we're gonna pass selected which is the same again this e dot target dot file zero and then inside our else this is where we're gonna output the error message so we made a state error and set error which is false initially and here we're just gonna set that error to true we can remove this console then let's remove this for now we're gonna add it in a bit but we're gonna create our custom input so the first thing we're gonna add is a div with a class name of container here then inside of that we're gonna check if error exists so error and then meaning if error is true we're gonna render a paragraph with a class name of error message and here we can just add some text like file not supported so if we set this to false for example we're gonna see that message right here on the page then under that we're gonna create another div so here we're gonna add a div with the class name of image preview and inside this div we're gonna have everything so we're gonna have the input and everything else like the text here we can do if we don't have an image preview and end and then here we can add some things we want to render so we're gonna render a paragraph it's just gonna be add an image then under that we're gonna create a label just so we can make our input custom with styles this is gonna say choose file and then for our label we're gonna have HTML4 file upload that's gonna be the ID we're gonna give to our input and we're gonna have a class name just to target it in CSS which is gonna be custom file upload and because we have two elements here we're gonna need to wrap everything with react fragment or a div then under that label we're gonna need to create our input we had before so it's gonna be type file ID is gonna be the same as this which is file upload so we can copy paste that and we had on change and let's just call the same function we called before which is handle image change so that's going to be our input and then under our input we're going to have span and for our span we're just going to add jpeg or png so for now let's do that and let's go back to our styles we can remove this we're gonna add some basic styles like box sizing, border box, margin zero, padding zero, and font family of sans serif. Then we're gonna target our app. We're gonna make it full height, so min height on the page. We're gonna add a background. And we're also going to add a display of flex just so we can center this container we have. Let's close this. So we have container. We're going to add margin auto. Center it on the page. We're going to add a width of 100%. And a max width of 600 pixels. So now that's centered on the page. And we can target our error message. So that's our class we gave to the paragraph. Just gonna add a color of red, font size of 24 pixels, and just a bit of margin top and bottom, so three pixels and zero. Then we have this div that holds everything, so image preview that holds our label, input, paragraph. So let's target our image preview. We're gonna make it full width. And we're also going to add a height of 460 pixels. Display flex, flex direction column, put them under each other. And then we want to center them. So we're going to use align items center. 
uh, justify content center. And we're also going to align text or text align center. And we can add a color of white for the text. And under that, we can target our image preview div again. And now we're going to target our input, which has a type of file. And for this, we're just going to make it display none. So we're not going to be showing this input. Instead, we're going to style our label and we're going to use that instead. So our label is this choose file right now. You remember that's what we added for our label. And it has a class of custom file upload. So we're going to copy that and just target that here. So we're going to do image preview and then this class, which is custom file upload. We're going to add a color. Font size of 22 pixels, font weight of 500, adding 6 pixels top and bottom and font for left and right. And we're going to add a cursor of pointer. So this is our label here. And let's go back here. So a few things we'll need to change for this image preview div. We're going to move this into a new line. And then we're going to add a style here. So instead of adding background through CSS, we're going to do it here. And we can do backgrounds. And here, if you remember, our image preview is initially null. And we only have image preview once we upload a picture. So here we're going to draft if image preview is true. We're going to add a background. We need to make these template literals. So this is going to be URL, since we already added a background here. And then inside this URL, we're just going to render that image preview. And we can also add no repeat, center, slash cover. Let's make this a bit bigger. And then after that, if we don't have an image preview, we're just going to render a background here. So now we have a background on this div. So how this works is our image preview is null and it's going to render this. And then once we have an image preview, we're setting it to selected, then this is going to run. And that image preview is going to show right here. So we added that as well. And then we also need to add a button to remove the picture. And then here after line 44, we can check if image preview exists. And then because only if image preview exists here, we want to render the button that says cancel. So we're going to add a button. And it's just going to say remove image. So this button is not going to show right now. But if we set this to not image preview, we're going to be able to see the button. And we can do that while we style it. But we're going to change this back. And the only thing we need to do here is we're going to add on click event. And we need to update our state, which is image preview and set image preview. So we can use set image preview. And the only thing we want to do, we only want to set it back to null. Then we can remove that as well. So when we set it back to null, this is going to show. And then if it's not null, here we have a picture. Then we're showing the picture right here. Okay, let's test that. And if we click on this picture, okay, so we're not getting anything. Let's check our function right here. Okay, so here, when we update our state, instead of selected, we're going to remove that and we're going to set it to reader dot result. So let's refresh that and let's try again. So we'll select this. There it is. And then let's go to our style.css. We need to style our button here just so we're able to see it properly. So we can target our button. We're going to remove the border. So border none and outline none. I'm going to make a width of 100%. I'm going to add a bit of margin on the top. So 10 pixels, 0, 0, 0. Adding 14 pixels top and bottom. And then 10 pixels for left and right. I'm going to add a blue background. Color of, we're going to do black for this. 
font size of 17 pixels, font weight of 600, and cursor of pointer. Okay, so let's test that now. If we click choose file and we select the actual picture like this one, that's gonna change and we're gonna have remove image. If we click that, we go back to this, and then here, if we select this file, we're gonna have file not supported. And let's pick this again. So we are not clearing our error yet. So we need to do that. That's the last thing that's left. Let's go back to our app right here. So here we're setting the error to true once we have the error. But here, after line eight, we wanna set error back to false. And this is gonna clear this error we have. So let's try that again. We choose file and we're gonna select, let's do this one. It says file not supported. And then if we actually set a picture again, that arrow should go away. We have that picture and then we can remove the picture. We can add another picture and do whatever we want with it. So that would be it for this final project. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.